Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at um, uh, a 3D tool in Inventor. So we're going to go ahead and do a, a new part file. We're going to do a 2D sketch. And in this video, we're going to go ahead and do the sweep. So we're going to go um, you know, create a 2D sketch. Okay, so, um, so the interesting thing about a sweep is you need two opposing, you need two sketches that are on opposing axes. Okay, so, so basically let's go ahead and create a, um, a spline. All right, and we're going to get, we're going to try to get an error for ourselves uh, right off the bat. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click the green check there. I'm going to click uh, finish 2D sketch. All right, right click 2D sketch. So I have this spline initially, right? Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to create this work plane. Oops, sorry. So um, we're going to create... Uh, it doesn't really matter where it is. So, um, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to open up over here on the left-hand side. Notice that we have no place to add another work plane, right? Or we have no place to add another sketch because there's no flat surface to put our sketch onto, right? So we're going to go ahead and open up the origin and we're going to create, we're going to select the X, Y plane in this case. So notice that, notice that, um, I'm going to go ahead and click cancel here. Okay. So it's, you have to do this in a specific order. Okay. So let's go ahead and we're going to look left hand side here. Okay. So notice it's straight up and down. So my, my, uh, my sketch is living on this plane right here. Okay. So now I'm looking straight on at the sketch. So it looks like one straight line because I'm looking at the side of it, right? Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to plane here for work plane. I'm going to do click on offset plane. So notice that little uh, parallelogram next to my uh, mouse pointer. That's what you want to see. Now I'm going to go over and see how, um, okay, see how that's the long ways plane. We don't want that. That's the same plane that the spline is on that we just drew. We don't want that, okay? There it is. So we want the plane where we can see just a perpendicular line, right? So in this case, it's the XY plane, right? Now, all we're going to do is we're just going to move this. It doesn't really matter where we move it, to be honest with you, it, but it has to intersect, okay? So we can't move it way up over here. It has to be on that spline, okay? And we're going to go ahead, and we could have just left it in the middle as well, but let's just, let's just put it here for now. Okay, so we go ahead and click OK. All right, so now what we have is we have this work plane. Okay, and all a work plane is is a flat surface, an imaginary flat surface that we can put a sketch onto. Okay, we can do other things with it, but in this case, we're going to put a sketch onto it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and click 2D sketch. And we're going to, we can then go ahead and click on, see how this highlights. We can go ahead and click and it'll create the 2D sketch. I'm going to click cancel for now. We can also click on the plane and right click and click new sketch. All right. Same thing. All right. So we put a sketch on the work plane. Notice how our right crosshairs are now on the work plane, right? Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a shape that's going to be repeated across this line. All right. So let's go ahead um, click, drag, click. All right, so there's my circle. I click OK. I'm going to finish sketch. All right, now what's going to happen is the circle is going to get repeated all over the line. Okay, we can, and honestly, we can also go ahead and click off the visibility on this work plane. So notice how I select the work plane. Whoops. All right, just click the work plane, select it. And then we're going to. Huh. Okay, we can do it over here. We can right click the work plane and we can uncheck visibility right here. All right, so now our work plane is not visible and notice how the ch it changes color. So when it's visible, it's orange. If we right click invisible, now it's gray, right? All right, it's still there. It's just that we don't have to see it. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make our sweep. So we click sweep and notice that it does give us a, I was, I was hoping to get an error. A lot of times we get an error because essentially what happens is it self intersects. Now this looks like it's self intersecting, but maybe they've solved that in, in 2017. Let's, let's see if it, if in fact we have. So, so went ahead and clicked our profile. That's our circle, our path, that's our spline. I click okay. And lo and behold, it makes a perfectly good uh, sweep. That is fantastic. Okay, so no more no more self intersection errors, which is really quite amazing. Um, okay, all right. Uh, so there is our sweep. Uh, give it a shot, and good luck.